Hey friend, Chris here and here is a quick one on how to move from Figma to Next.js. It's a super time saver for converting from Figma components to React components. But first, we need to head to the AWS console and create an Amplify project by searching for AWS Amplify and selecting the AWS Amplify service. From the Amplify page, Select the new app drop down and click build an app. Now, wait for Amplify to deploy your app and once it's done, click launch studio and then the console will redirect you to the Amplify Studio dashboard for your app. Before we do anything here though, let's create a Figma project that we can import components from. Head to the Figma community website and search for AWS Amplify UI Kit. Then select the official kit which is maintained by the Amplify team. Click the duplicate button to clone the kit as a Figma project into your account. Once you've cloned the kit, you can edit it to your taste before importing it to your project. For example, I can zoom into the Hero Layout 3 component and change the placeholder text to Welcome. Amplify sits between your Figma and a React project and handles the conversion of Figma components to React components. So before we can import the components into a Next.js project, we have to first import it into Amplify Studio. That said, click the share button and copy the link to the Figma project. Head back to the Amplify Studio Click the UI Builder from the sidebar navigation, click the Get Started button and paste the Figma link in the URL field. Then click Continue once you've done that. Keep in mind though that if this is your first time importing Figma components into an Amplify project, Figma will ask you to authorize a request from Amplify. You need to approve this request for Amplify to have access to the Figma project and import the components. Once the import is done, you can accept each of the components or click accept all to accept all the components that Amplify imported from Figma. You can also inspect each of the components by selecting them from the list of components. We can also confirm that the changes we made to the Hero Layout 3 component persisted after importing it. Create a Next.js app so you have a project to import the components into. Open the project in your editor and also run npm run dev to ensure that the Next.js app is running fine. Now before we import the components from Figma, we need to do a few things. First, we need to install the Amplify JavaScript and React UI dependencies. Then secondly, we need to ensure that we have the Amplify CLI installed, which we can check by running Amplify-V. If you don't have it installed, I have linked to a two-minute guide on how to set it up in the description. With Amplify and Next.js set up, we just need to tie them together by pulling in those components into the React project. Head to the studio and click local setup instructions from the navigation bar. Copy the pull command and run it from the root of your Next.js project. Now Amplify we need to authorize the CLI. So when asked, agree by clicking yes. Answer the setup questions as shown so Amplify understands your project better. Once the import is done, we can confirm that the components were added by listing all the items in the newly created UI components folder. And as you can see, we have a Hero Layout 3 component as well as some other components like the navbar and marketing pricing which we will use in this Next.js project. To render the component, open the Next.js file from the Pages folder and delete everything in the folder. Import the UI components from the UI component folder. We need a navbar component a marketing pricing component and the hero layout component. Now create and export a component 
and also render the components you've just imported. You can check your progress in the browser. So far, the components we rendered are showing and we can confirm that our hero layout has the right content. But everything looks rather awkward, so let's import the styles. Open the app.js file and import the React UI styles. Save the changes and head back to the browser. You can see the styles reflect and we have a nicer looking website. We just need to use a better looking font. The UI library uses Interfont by default. And to take advantage of it, we need to import the font in our global CSS file. Now we have a more polished website without writing as much code as we would need to if we had built everything from scratch. Thank you for sticking to the end of this video. Goodbye.